Hello, friends. Although some of us think that Pesach, Passover, is merely a celebration of the Seder, the holiday is an eight-day festival. In our people's his sacred history, when we left Egypt, we bundled our belongings on our backs and made the long trek toward freedom. Leaving slavery and everything that was familiar was not an easy process. Pursued by enemies and overwhelmed by inner fears and doubts, we traveled for six wearisome days before reaching the Sea of Reeds. On the seventh day, miracles occurred and we crossed the sea together. Pesach celebrates our liberation from the bonds of slavery. On the first two nights of Pesach, we retell this story and reflect on the meaning of freedom at Pesach Seders. Traditionally, during the four intermediate days of Pesach, Chol HaMoed, we continue to give thanks by reciting specific psalms. On the last two nights of Pesach, we return to a period of holiness dedicated to celebrating miracles and possibilities. So tonight, in our spiritual tradition, is when our people crossed the sea. Some Jews gather to celebrate the miracles in our lives as we move toward the conclusion of our Festival of Freedom. Speaking of festivals and important communal events, I would like to bring to your attention two really important upcoming gatherings. The first is Yom HaShoah, of an evening of remembrance of the Holocaust. Our communal commemoration is being held at Temple Isaiah in Lafayette this coming Monday, April 17th at 7 p.m. This one hour program will include sacred music, lighting candles of memory, and most importantly, there will be five brief personal stories of resilience shared by family members of Holocaust survivors. These stories are important and worth bearing witness to. I would strongly encourage people to bring children 10 years and older to hear these stories and better understand the incredible power and soulfulness it took for some to survive the Holocaust. This evening will be a testament to the Jewish people's will to survive against all odds and, our, and affirm our remarkable resilience as a people. If you or your family member uh, or a family member has experienced anti-Semitism, or you're feeling the stress of being part of a minority faith community in this particularly difficult moment, in American history. I think you'll especially appreciate this gathering. And it goes without saying that if you have no children or an empty nester, you will want to be together with us in community on this night of remembering. I hope to see you there. The Jewish people have never forgotten our need to be good stewards of our environment. On Sunday, April 23rd, I serve the interfaith of the San Ramon Valley, along with the town of Danville and the Unified School, Dist School District, among dozens of faith community co-sponsors and civic partners are holding the first annual Interfaith Earth Fest. This is going to be a sweet celebration of our precious earth on the weekend of Earth Day. We will be gathering at Peace Lutheran Church just down the street from Beth at 3201 Camino Tassajara from 1 to 4 p.m. for what promises to be a wonderful festival. There will be great music, engaging children's and family activities, a number of good food trucks, bring your appetite, 
labyrinth walks, and other fun movement activities. Almost every environmental organization in our valley will be represented by booths, tents, and tables. There will be presentations and opportunities to learn how we might become more involved in local efforts to be better stewards of our environment. Perhaps the highlight of the festival will be a series of stories of hope shared throughout the festival, throughout the entire afternoon. Stories about how a person or a few people had ideas like White Pony Express, and have created an amazing organization that saves healthy food that restaurants and grocery stores would have otherwise thrown away and have managed to get this precious nourishment to people in need of food for survival. My friends, these are stories we need to hear at a time when so much of what we hear about the environment is doom and gloom. Now, this is not to ignore or deny the jeopardy that we are in as a planet. And we need to connect to hope. And there are so many amazing people who are engaged in projects here in our valley that are measurably, measurably making our environment better. This will be an afternoon you should not miss. It will nurture body and soul and it will be appropriate for the whole family. Beth Chaim is pleased to be a co-sponsor and you can be proud of our role as a faith community that cares about the environment here locally. This is the first time that officials from our town, county, state, and congressional district are all partnering together with our many progressive faith communities in support of our environment. Our Jewish community, together with other faith communities, are making this happen. I want to thank Deborah Wexler for stepping up in a big way, and for the artists of our community whose work will be on display, especially Jessica Colas. If you wish to volunteer during the festival on the afternoon of Sunday the 23rd from 1 to 4 p.m., please contact me directly. Your help will be appreciated. There's a lot going on and we are at the Chaim at the, in the center of it. So I hope you'll come. Stay safe and be well. Shalom uvracha, peace and blessings. <laughs>